Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Neelam and I make videos on all about making and selling candles. In today's video, we'll be talking about candle photography. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks in my experience in helping you if you've never done candle photography. Candle photography is important in selling your candles and showcasing candles. So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to go about doing candle photography. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Hi guys, so I'm basically showing you what is it that I'm doing using a voiceover. So when you're shooting your candle photography photos, I need you to keep in mind that you need to see your candle and you need to see the label. So what I would recommend is shooting with a white sheet. I recommend using a white sheet because you can clearly see the candle and you can clearly see the label. As you can see in the video, you can see my candle and you can see my label, which is pretty in pink. That's the scent name. Having the scent name clearly seen is very important because remember your customers cannot smell the candle so in order for your candle photography to work you need to see the scent name and the brand name so that they know what they're looking at so when you're shooting remember use natural light and use a white sheet i'm using natural light because i don't have any photography lights but if you do have photography lights you can also use that but i recommend natural light and a white sheet will work best so when you're shooting candle photography um i would recommend have a certain vibe by vibe i mean you can show your candle photography through your scent name so that means that since my candle is called pretty and pink it's a very floral type of candle so i would suggest that in order to show that through the image you can buy fake flowers or use real flowers you don't need to buy any expensive props i bought mine from the crazy store it was i think 15 or 20 rand and it was fairly cheap and i used that to show that this candle is a floral candle so this goes with the vibe of the candle because when you are shooting your candle photography you have to show the customer what is it that this candle is so when you're using flowers you can then clearly show the customer that this is a floral candle so you can use that um you could also play around with shadows um, as you can clearly see in the video i'm playing with shadows and that gives off a very nice and cool vibe for the candle photography but the thing with shadows is that when you are using shadows in your photography do not cast the shadow onto the label this will distort the label and you won't clearly see what is it that you are showing in your photography so make sure that when you are using shadows place it above the candle like what you see i'm doing and this will clearly give off a very different vibe for your candles it will make your candles look much more better and um, it looks better so remember you have to shoot while you're looking at the camera so check in the camera what is it that it looks like and shoot from there you can have various types of angles you can shoot from above you can shoot from the side but make sure you can see the label and the candle that's the main purpose and as you can see i'm playing around i'm seeing what looks best if i like the bunch of flowers or if i don't so you can use natural light you can use a clean white sheet and you can use whatever you want to do so now I'm going to show you the editing software that I use to edit my photos. I use Lightroom and Snapseed. The editing software I'm showing you guys now is Lightroom. I absolutely love Lightroom because it's so user friendly and even if you've never edited your photos before, the software is very simple and easy to use. So as you can see, I'm playing around with the settings. I don't have a set way of editing my photos, but I do know that I want my candle to clearly be seen. And I want my candle label to be seen as well. So as you can see, um, sometimes when you're shooting candle photography, the lighting is a bit too bright or a bit too dark. So I would suggest that you can either brighten the image or darken the image. It's depending on the photograph. And as you can see, I'm playing around with the shadows. I'm playing around with the um, contrast, the exposure. And also be very careful when you are exposing your images because... Um, you can make it too bright and then it will just be very stark white and not very nice. So just be careful when you're using the exposure. Playing around with the colors as well because as you can see I have a red flower. So I'm either making it brighter or darker. I'm playing around with the white background. Playing around with the leaves. Editing the green in the leaves. So yes, you just play around. You figure out what you want to do. And I'm showing you a before and after. And as you can see, there's a very big difference from the before and now the after. And the after is much more clear, much more bright, much more clean. 
So if you've never used editing before and you don't want to edit, you can clearly download a preset. I will show you how to download a preset. I'm busy exporting the image now. So for those people who don't want to edit, you can download a preset from YouTube. And once you download that preset from YouTube, you have to make sure it's a Lightroom preset. If you download a preset that is not from Lightroom, it will not work. So what you will do, I showed you in the video, you have to copy the settings of the preset and then upload it onto the picture you want to edit and rewatch that process if you want to uploaded the preset settings onto your photo you then will now edit the photo because sometimes the preset settings don't work on your photo so you will have to now edit the photo either make it darker lighter if you want the color to be brighter you have to edit that so that's what you can do um sometimes i love to uh, make my pictures much more sharpened. I like texture in my photos so that you can see the label, the candle, what is it that I'm showing you. So that's something you can do. And then I also use a editing software called Snapseed. Snapseed is good for shadows and I'll show you guys that in a minute. But as you can see, I'm playing around with the colors. I'm making it brighter, making it much more clearer. And now I'm going to export this photo. And I'm going to show you guys what is it looks like in Snapseed. So you can clearly see the before and after. It looks much more brighter, better, cleaner. And I'm going to now export this. So what you do, you go to the three dots on your right hand corner. And you will then export that photo and then upload it to Snapseed. So now I'm in Snapseed and use for the shadows. So what I'm doing right now is I go to the tools section. I click on selective and this tool is good for brightening up your photos if you have shadows so as you can see i'm using the brightness tool on the top of the screen you can clearly see i'm increasing the brightness i'm seeing if i want to darker or lighter and basically what you do you click on the shadow and then you either increase the brightness or not so you slide left or right for bright or for to make it dark and this is what i'm doing i use the selective tool and I either brighten or darken the shadows, but I normally brighten it because sometimes the, if the shadows are too dark, it doesn't look good. So that's something you can do. And I'm basically showing you guys before and after what it looks like. I'm gonna export this and show you another editing software that I use is Facetune. I mainly use Facetune to make my labels much more brighter and much more detailed. So I go to the detail tool in Facetune and I basically run my finger across the label to make it much more brighter because sometimes when you're doing candle photography your camera is out of focus so you don't really see the label. When I'm editing my photos I make sure that I use the detail tool and I highlight the label so that it becomes much more clearer to the customer they can clearly see the label so that's what I use the detail tool and it makes a very big difference when you look at the photo and you see that your label is much more clear and it's very detailed. So that will help you when you are shooting your candle photography. So I would make sure that my camera is in focus and that's something you guys can do. Now I'm showing you the before and after of what it looks like and you can clearly see the difference. Before it was very dull and now it's much more clearer and much more detailed. I have trouble with my label. My label sometimes has creases on it. So in order to fix that, I use the smooth tool in Facetune and then go over the creases and I basically smooth that out. So that's something I do because sometimes my labels don't come out that great. So I edit those and make them much more smooth and better. So yes, that's something you can do if you want your, if sometimes your label is out of place and you want to redo it. So you can smooth that out. And yeah, so now I'm basically going to download that and use it. So that's the editing, that's the pictures, and that's something you guys can do. I also want to show you guys golden hour. Golden hour is the best time to take candle photography because the light is very soft as you can see. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys found it helpful. I basically showed you guys 
what is it that you can do with candle photography and it's very simple and easy you guys um you don't need to buy anything expensive you can just use whatever is in your house use natural light and make it as easy and simple as possible use your phone i never took this on a professional camera this can show you that you don't need any fancy equipment to take your candle photography all you need is natural light some little props here and there and your phone thank you so much for watching please don't forget to follow me on instagram and iridescent candle co and also check some of my photos that i took using those props and those techniques on my instagram you can check and see what is it that i did and how did i use the little bit of supplies that I had to make it better. So just have fun, play and experiment and just enjoy yourself and showcase your candles as best as you can. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.